Okay, so welcome back to our campaign. Uh, like I said earlier, we routed the enemy. Our troops move into Copenhagen. I I don't know the uh, the auto save does this. Apparently, I can't actually save the game when I'm here, so I had to rely on the auto saves, and they only make them like every once in a while. Uh, but anyways, we have taken Copenhagen. That raised our morale, and uh, our next objective will be um, Stockholm and Oslo. Those are the points that we need to capture. Uh, I would deploy some troops. Unfortunately, we cannot. It's really weird. Uh, however, we did gain a foothold here, which is good. There is some unknown division inside Oslo, so I actually get aerial reconnaissance. Uh, how, do, how do I do this? Apparently, I can't. Uh, uh, yeah, it looks like they camouflage. They played a uh, camouflage card, which is this one, on this tile, and we can't tell what's over there. So that's uh, that's not very really good. Our first infantry brigade, provided by Great Britain, has entered uh, Copenhagen, which is good, and they will be holding on for now. In the meantime, I'm thinking of pursuing the enemy, but I mean, it's like uh, I think I'll actually just skip one turn. Uh, just hold the locations because I have a feeling holding these locations uh, is more uh, valuable. Sounds of boots in Poi Yang do not bode well. The Pentagon is planning to send the second 101st Airborne to Southeast Asia, although it was initially designed for Scandinavia. Hmm. We can grab the second 101st. The uh, second. I don't know battalion or whatever in the first um, in the 101st Airborne, um, or alternatively we can um, we can say that we can accept its departure and gain 20 political points. Well, in the top right corner of the screen, you might have seen that I already have 10 political points, so I think I'm actually going to accept its departure for uh, those political points because I think we can buy another if we yeah if we have 40. I'm pretty sure we can buy something like Panzer Brigade or Armored Brigade. I'm gonna save one more turn because uh, what Armored Brigade, the 194th Armored Brigade has here is I think, oh wait no, wait 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 wait. Unfortunately it looks like we're gonna go for the American tanks, they have the M1P Abrams tanks and those Abrams tanks are just absolutely devastating so I think we're gonna go with those. In the meantime, that area of reconnaissance costs absolutely nothing, so we're going to deploy that there and take a quick peek at uh, at Oslo. The scenario is named Fortress Oslo, and I would uh, assume that would mean that uh, this particular province is a strong point in their defenses. It looks like, um, yeah, they do have a lot of T-72 tanks. These are the real heavy hitters. These, uh, You'll see that they have really good armor and they have really good cannons. Typically, the things highlighted in uh, blue are really good. And um, those tanks are real big problems for us. I, you know, I really hope that um, the 82nd Airborne is able to assault that location because we're going to try. We're going to try to take over that location immediately. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so it's not that bad. We're just going to deploy and um, hopefully win on this battlefield. And if we don't, oh well. Okay, so it looks like we can only start on this side of the river. We'll be attacking, so that's not that big of an issue. Uh, but the question is, what should we deploy over here? Well, since there are two really narrow bridges, I'm going to deploy a uh, TOW team with their guided missile launchers. They should be able to take out anything that uh, comes their way. And I'm going to put a scouting unit somewhere over here just to kind of cover the bridges. Uh, to assault all of this territory, we will bring... Uh, what should we bring? You know, I'm liking the Nighthawks. I'm liking the Shuriken spam because these are really effective for some reason, even though their main cannons are crap. And I'm liking the uh, the light riflemen, so I think I'll bring um, more of those. Yeah, but uh, we only have about 20 squ squads of uh, light riflemen, so that might be a big problem. Is that uh, we might actually run out of those infantry units, and we also have a limited amount of tanks, so. 
Uh, so far, it looks like this place is named for a fortress, simply because of all of the urban terrain. Well, um, I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to kind of garrison. Uh, we'll be able to garrison this entire city and just kind of make it a brawl from there. Yeah, let's get some riflemen. Riflemen are fairly cheap, and it looks like we have a ton of riflemen. So we're just gonna get them to um, establish a chain of like early command posts and type of things. And later on, we'll buy another aircraft, something with um, anti-air capability, so then we can kind of shoot down aircraft with our aircraft. Makes things a lot easier. Okay, what's the deal? For the um, for now, I think I'm just gonna go to uh, to goal over here and check out if um, any enemies are coming from these two locations. It looks like they have a FOB. I can apparently so, um, select their FOB. For even though I, I can't see into there, so that's cool, I guess. And because I can do that, I guess I'll go there first. I'll, like, how good are these tanks in terms of uh, range? Okay, so they're pretty fuel efficient. Yeah, there's some troops over here. We'll take this place out first, then swing around to Hamar, or whatever the place is named. Send the uh, get the supply division ready, so we'll be able to resupply our troops like ASAP. Get this thing over here. The Rangers, I believe, are masters of. No, they're only very good at stealth. I was going to say that we're masters at stealth, but anyways, um, they should be able to do that fairly well. So I don't think any tanks will spot them. Tanks are generally bad at spotting things, so we should be fine. I actually love these stealth bombers. They're so helpful. I wonder if we can just fly the stealth bomber, find the place, and just drop a payload and see if it dies. It'd be probably the uh, easiest thing to do. I knew you wouldn't leave us idle for long. But in the meantime, it looks like we're just gonna have to uh, blitz this location. No tanks have uh, come out of this uh, particular place just yet, so we should be fine. Took some infantry losses last time. It's not that big of a deal, though. Are you talking to me? Aster ready. And I think I'm actually going to try to conserve our transports this time because those transports aren't really uh, like these M35s. All they are are just like little jeep car things. Uh, oh wait, no, they're trucks. But I kind of want to conserve them, because what happened last time was that we kept on, uh, well, we didn't lose them, right? But we kept on getting them destroyed. Well, no, that, I guess we did lose them, but we kept on getting them destroyed, right? And then what the, the implications of that were was that then we had all of this infantry that we couldn't move around the map easily. Uh, so this time, I just plan on just kind of leaving them back. I mean, oh no, they're bringing artillery, that's going to destroy those trucks. I really want those trucks to be alive, simply because I, I just don't want them to die. And then we can't transport our infantry as well. Let the little tank come to us. See if we can get the stealth bomber to come in here and drop that uh, paveway 2 guided bomb thing uh, right on top of that command vehicle. Should be here. Should be just hiding somewhere, yeah. Yes, sir. For now, I'll just target there or somewhere like that. Ready to move, sir. Oh no, panicked our own troops. At the ready, sir. Ah well, no big deal. What are your orders, sir? Uh, I don't know. I think I'll load up my infantry back up onto their uh, transports, and I'll probably buy a recon tank or something next time. Uh, can I buy a recon plane? Apparently not. At the ready, sir. What are they doing? They are trying to drop bombs on us. That is very unpleasant. Leave me. All of you. Get out of my way. Ready to blow up some tanks, sir. Is that the command vehicle? Yes, that is. That is the command vehicle. It's moving in its uh, way to the side. I see it. I see where it's going. -tank just get uh, my troops loaded, and I think I'll just send them this way, then. Sure it's safe, then? Depl 
deploy my infantry inside the city and then I'll just uh, pull the trucks back. What is over here? Some T uh, T-72s. I'll buy another Nighthawk so then we can hopefully bomb these things to oblivion if, uh, if they stop moving. You've got something for me? Get some of these tanks. Are they nice and filled up? No, they're not, so we'll pull them back. I'm gonna try to spot those T-72s um, from afar with my uh, my troops. Oh crap, they're shooting at our uh, transport, our logistics. That's not good. Spot them, pull our tanks back. And then get the fighters to uh, just kind of come in here and drop the big are. bombs on them. Let's try to keep eyes on them. Doesn't matter if we take a few losses here and there. First payload coming down. This should stun them. Yeah, there we go. Did a did a little bit of damage. The second one should be able to take out two of their tanks. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so our infantry got away mostly for it. Let's get our infantry hidden for now. Pull the uh, pull the transports back. All we need to do is get into firing range just a little bit closer, and those tanks are ours. Yeah, because I believe these dragoon. Oh wait, no, they have a range of uh, 15 or 16 meters. Yeah, they can fire now. Just need to get the, the uh, infantry close enough to deliver those uh, those ATGM barrages. Yeah, now we should be able to do be able to do some damage. Oh no, did that thing drop cluster bombs? Those cluster bombs are gonna rip apart my infantry if they uh, if they come down. Ammo, fuel, spare parts, anything you want. Oh now they're just playing with us, circling their MIGs uh, on top of our our troops. We need a plane to deal with them. Grab an eagle to come over here, fire off a few missiles at them. Let's see how those mix like uh, sparrow missiles. Big hit, big hit. I think that hit him, just didn't kill him. Try to kill the MIG. Yeah, the eagle's gonna have to pull up. Oh no, they did hit it out of the sky. What is here? Some supply trucks and some other good stuff. Okay, well it's infantry, uh, infantry time. We're just gonna have to foot assault that location. I'm gonna turn these main guns off simply because their ATGM launchers are more effective. Setting up an ambush there, sir. Uh, I could really drop some munitions on wherever their artillery are. I mean, those stealth bombers should be able to get into and, um, and out of the enemy airspace fairly safely. These tanks really had to die. There we go. Okay, now they can stop firing their uh, ATGMs. And we can roll into this uh, control point. They're gonna drop munitions onto us. Ah, uh, that's fine. That didn't hit the infantry. It's the infantry that I'm more or less worried about when it comes to, like, um, really big. Ordinance drops like that. 
half of the battle time has elapsed. Oh well. The battle will continue for uh, for as long as it, it will. I mean, if we run out of time, that simply means that the fighting goes on for one more day. I don't know if the point totals are kept because I, I, I haven't run into that scenario uh, just yet. So this might be a long battle simply because our troop loadout isn't necessarily the greatest. There's that BRDM. I see it. Just keep eyes on it and don't let it break away and let the stealth bomber handle it. Gotta keep following it. Where's it going? Where's it going? Got a second one over there. There we go. Guided bomb launched. That should destroy it. Yeah, there we go. Big hit. Okay, so we blitzed this place. Let's try to take the uh, FOB away from them. Uh, we still have one more bomber. I'm just gonna drop this payload uh, somewhere weird. Drop it right there. Might as well. No point in wasting that uh, that guided bomb, right? And you never know. Maybe it might uh, might hit some person down there. Yeah. Might hit something. Oh well. At the ready, sir. What do we have back here? A ton of these uh, little truck things. That's good, I guess. Oh, we might just have enough to uh, transport all of our infantry now. That's actually pretty good, yeah. We might actually be able to finish um, this particular mission now. And actually, just get rid of them. The um, do whatever people from here. Now that we have a full lineup of troops, we need to take care of those We're tanks though first. Uh, our bombers aren't ready yet. Unfortunately, we're going to have to deploy a. Um, yeah, no, that's uh, that's not not the thing I had wanted. Sky is ours. I was gonna buy two fighting falcons, but now I can't. Huh. Are you talking to me? Apparently, all my tanks are dead from a from a bomb drop. I would assume. Yeah, we don't get those tanks back, do we? There's no warranty on those. Captain and his crew welcome you aboard. Where's that artillery coming from? I swear, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. Right, redeploy. Out. What are your orders, sir? Let's try to get the infantrymen back over Roll here. And those T-72s are sitting nice and uh, close for that airdrop, so that's pretty good. Yeah, you'll see that these like weapon, these uh, little status updates come up, and essentially all of these tanks should have their weapons jammed and their uh, computers reset, so they shouldn't be able to fire off very much, right? So with that being said, these uh, bombs should just be able to demolish them, where I would hope that they would be able to blow them demolish. Them. Second pave, well, uh, second thing should come in now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice hit. Setting up an ambush there, sir. Light riflemen are running out of uh, ammunition, so we're gonna pull them back for now. Uh, what else can we get up there in a short amount of time? Not much. The enemy is in range, so are we. We got over Looks like we're just going to have to use our uh, air superiority for the minute. Uh, to, to kind of deal with these people. Nothing much uh, we can do. 
Looks like it would be much appreciated if they stopped taking out my trucks. Really like those trucks. Uh, pull our infantry back. I'll buy two uh, two planes, two fighting falcons, and they can just drop bombs. More bombs. More bombs. It's gonna rain down on them crawlers. Trying to figure out where these uh, tanks would be. Get up there. Let's see if any of these hit and take out anything. That probably damaged them. It probably didn't take them out though. Um, what we could do is that that FOB over there is actually a nice tidy sum of money. We could uh, we could drop the drop the hammer on them just to kind of disrupt them. For now, it looks like uh, our only like real chance at like keeping the point totals over here, because bear in mind it will come down to the points later on, is um, is just to kind of keep up the bombardment on people like that. Where do you need us, sir? Yeah, just get all of our planes up. Awaiting new orders, sir. Looks like we're going to have to pull back our uh, troops for now. Sky is ours. It's going to be a game of spotting for uh, for now. Just finding these tanks and dropping munitions on them, trying to try to like take them out like that. Oh, this is the damaged tank column right here. So we're going to drop a lot of munitions on them. Sky is ours. My gold is ours. Who do you want us to transport? We're glad that we can. Let the little tanks come to us. Okay, well this might be a problem. Send to your right planes over here. We shall look at each The captain and his crew welcome you aboard. Nothing. Oh, they still have a few missiles, yes. Oh, they only had one left. Can these bombers suppress these planes, uh, these tanks long enough? Well, at least they tried. At least they tried to do their job. Oh wait, no, if they hold on a little longer, I could bring in the Nighthawks. Well, hopefully this one Nighthawk makes the difference and takes out everything there. Just demolishes those troops. Target in sight, adjusting aim. Okay, so these tanks are like, you know, they're fairly damaged, but um, they still have a fighting chance at not being destroyed. Let's see how that munition um, handles them. Big hit. Yes. There we go. <laughs> this is really gonna turn out like uh, Operation Market Garden, where the uh, the paratroopers just kind of like lurk about the various cities for like a long time. Um, hopefully, it doesn't turn out exactly like uh, like what happened there. I mean, hopefully, we win, of course, but this is really interesting. Where do you need us, sir? It's uh, 30 seconds on the clock. I'm just gonna drop all of the Someone munitions the on that one tile. I mean, all, after all, all we're waiting for right now is just the. Uh, just a round to be over. You know, I'm kind of starting to regret not getting the 101st uh, airborne, simply because we could have used another airborne unit. I wonder if we're able to take out this uh, little base. If we can, that would be really helpful.
Ah, I see only the um, the big stealth bombers take it, take it out. Well, that's another battle uh, done. I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to like and subscribe as always. Uh, the good thing is that we were we were able to continue the battle. The battle is going to carry on tomorrow, just like it says. We will wait until then. So I'll see you guys then. Oh, another conflict is uh, occurring, so we're probably going to fight this battle.